What's up, air signs? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, sis, sis, sis. This is your weekly reading, and I'm just gonna get right into it. If you want a personal reading, that's linked in the, in the description below. Let's see what comes out for all my pain in the ass air signs. I think a lot of mental. Five of Pentacles. Three of Wands. And the Nine of Cups in reverse. All right. Libras, Geminis, Aquarius, this is. Some of you guys are not really feeling too um, optimistic about your future. And I think there's this like burning it's this this is the six of pentacles actually and so it says the the five of pentacles either way i feel like you guys are not satisfied where things are going in the future but are kind of happy with what you have now with the six of pentacles you're getting back what you're giving out and so there's a contentment um there's a sense of i'm feeling like okay yeah i'm cool with that but when it comes to your future there's a lot that it feels like there's a lot you want to change there's a lot you want to be different in the future you don't you and it's not even like you're ungrateful <laughs> Right? Like, oh shit, I don't like the way things are right now. You just want better for yourself. And you're not completely satisfied with taking this present into your future. Like, you want to, you want better. That's all I can say. The Three of Wands upright is a card of expansion and movement forward and allowing the ships to come in and and embarking on a journey so i do feel as though a lot of the air signs are th again thinking about your future and how you're going to create better and how you're going to change the future for yourself right Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This is a common theme. The Sun in reverse. And the Three of Swords in reverse. A lot of emotions that you need to sit with as well. With the Nine of Cups in reverse. And now the Three of Swords in reverse coming out. There's a lot of healing that needs to happen. So I don't know if this is emotionally. You don't want to take these emotions that you may be feeling or this, this um, uh, unsatisfaction, dissatisfaction, I don't know the word. You don't want to take this with you. When I see the nine of cups in reverse, it always feels to me like an itch you can't scratch. I don't know why. The sun in reverse is like, again, it's this energy of like, yeah, I've you know, it hasn't completely, like, blown my socks off. But it's done. It's done what it's, what it's supposed to do. I'm not unhappy with it. I'm just... Where I feel like you'll be unhappy... I don't know if this makes any sense. Because this is very, like, future projection-oriented. Whenever I see the Three of Wands, it's, it's, it's really thinking about out there in the future. And what's to come. Um, I feel like you will be unhappy if maybe you bring certain people, certain emotions, certain problems into the future. And so I think there's a needing to learn now how to overcome certain emotional obstacles. I don't know why I'm feeling that. 
The Wheel of Fortune comes out in reverse, which just like the fire signs, was it the fire signs or the earth signs? I'm not sure, um, but just like another sign, it's, it's all about wanting to turn the wheel right when you're meant to go left. And the universe has like a bigger plan for you and maybe you're not realizing that. So maybe there's a lesson in this air signs that I, I want to say to you, like everything's going to be okay in the future. Everything's going to be fine, but there is also a letting go that needs to happen where you're just, you're just going with the flow of, of your story, your whatever, whatever the fuck it is. You just go with the flow of the situation. Yeah, Eight of Swords in reverse. We love to see it. Knight of Wands in reverse. And the King of Cups in reverse. Again, there's a lot of emotion attached to this reading. And it's a lack of emotion. A lack of awareness of your emotions. And so I think the best thing for the air signs right now may be to have some reflection time with whatever this is. If you've been feeling like you can't catch a break, I can tell you that that break is absolutely about to come. A feeling of more uh, freedom. And it feels also like freedom from yourself and your own thoughts and your own limiting beliefs as well. You're kind of proving to yourself, but it, but it only happens after you learn to really take care of these inner emotions that you have not expressed yet to yourself or to other people or whatever. Just, just express them on paper, get them out. Sit with your own feelings and emotions about certain things and allow the, these emotions to come up because that might be blocking you. And I feel like once you do that, that freedom, that lack of um, inhibition comes and then you can really move and get things done. So if you've been wanting to, let's say, this is the only example I can give, right? Because this is... What I'm feeling. If you've been wanting to, let's say, study something. Okay? And... Maybe emotionally, you've been feeling like... You can't get over the fact that you feel like you suck. Because in the past, possibly... You didn't do so well. On the tests right so because of that you're not like you're not like acting on this thing but you know in the future that it's you know it's part of your future so let's say for instance I, actually you know i can think of like my fiance right she's been wanting to do re real estate and before i met her she was studying to do the real estate she took the test a couple of times more than a couple times and she kept failing one part of the test she would pass one fail the other and over time she got really like discouraged and became like in her head and so that prevented her and blocked her from continuing to study and like at, at one point, you know, we've been together almost two years now. At one point, she was just like, I don't even want to fucking do this anymore. Like, I used to be passionate about it. I, I'm not even interested. <laughs> Bye. Right? Now, she's just coming to, to this realization on her own that this is something she wants to do in her future. Like, she could see this really being a part of her future and, and whatever. But she's still kind of grappling with whether she realizes it or not she's still kind of grappling with the taking action portion and i feel like it might be tied to the imposter syndrome and that's an emotional thing that we need to work out 
right? Like within ourselves when we have imposter syndrome. And so maybe sitting with that and journaling that or reflecting on that or just being honest about that might help to get the energy flowing to the air signs that I'm talking to and that this might be resonating with. I'll give you another example, okay? Because this could be creative blockages as well. For me, music was a very big part of my life. Songwriting, I was literally writing a song a week at one point. Not all of them were good, but like I was doing it, doing the thing. And I would submit my music to executives and stuff like that. And I got a couple of like, you know, people who wanted to work with me and I did a couple of releases and stuff like that. But I let the negative um, feedback that I received and the demandingness of the industry get me to a point where I was completely turned off and did not want to do it anymore. And because of that, I have not written a song in like two, three years. I haven't released a song in over that, maybe like five, six years. And I don't know when I'll get back into it. But I do know again, with this three of wands looking into my future, that music will always be there. It'll always be part of my life. It's going to be something that I know I will always come back to because I just love doing it. Um, But I think even for myself, and I'm not an air sign, if I were to sit with these feelings and these emotions and these disappointments that I'm having a hard time releasing and I'm just, you know, like might be just starting to release, if I just sit with this, that might free up some of the creative blockages that might be going on and allow me to get out of my head and actually create. It's that sort of energy, right? If you've been feeling like there's an itch you can't scratch, it's because you're emotionally blocked from this thing and you need to really sit with those emotions surrounding this thing, get real with yourself, get real with your emotions and um, release the emotions so that you can embrace the thing and do the thing. That's the energy. I don't know if that makes any fucking sense, but some of you guys could be feeling discouraged. I'm gonna pull some Oracle (laughs) and that'll be the reading. I have not forgotten about your extra reading air signs. Trust in reverse. Y'all aren't trusting yourselves. Y'all are not trusting that you have what it takes. I'm telling you, some of you guys could be feeling discouraged. You guys aren't trusting your capabilities or your mental faculties. And because of that, when you look out into the future, you're just like, well, damn, if I don't do this thing now, like... Taking action now is going to benefit you in the future. But if you don't take action now, then you're just going to have more of what you have now in the future. And you don't want that, right? So what you need to do is learn to trust your capabilities and your intelligence and what you have to offer. Get real with yourself. And I promise you, the gates will open up and the flow will come back. That's it. That's all I got to say. I love you guys very much. I will see you guys in the next reading. Peace out.